Hi, welcome to KMath TV. In this video, we will add dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. Okay, let's solve the first example. 3 sixths plus 5 twelfths. The denominators are different, 6 and 12. Okay, in adding the similar fractions, the first step is to get the least common denominator or LCD. The LCD is the least common multiple or LCM of the denominators, and we can find it using different ways. We can use listing method, prime factorization, or continuous division. Okay, in our first example, let's use the prime factorization to find the LCD. Let's write the denominators 6 and 12. Now, what are the numbers that if we multiply, the product is 6? Okay, 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 and 3 are prime numbers. So these are now the prime factors of 6. Okay, let's write here. 6 equals 2 times 3. Okay, now let's find also the prime factors of 12. Okay, factors of 12, 2 and 6. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 is a prime number. 6 is a composite number, so we need to find the prime factors of 6. The prime factors of 6 are already here. 2 and 3. Okay, 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. These are the prime factors of 12. Let's write here. 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. Now, let's box the common factors of 6 and 12. The first pair is 2. It is counted as 1. And the other common factor is 3. Another pair. It is also counted as 1. Next, let's multiply the common factors and the other factor. Okay, 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay, this is now the LCD. Now, let's proceed to the second step. We will use this LCD to get the equivalent fractions or to change the fractions to similar fractions. Okay, let's write the LCD here. Okay, LCD is 12 plus LCD 12. Okay, now let's find the numerator of each fraction. Okay, let's do this. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. So, the numerator of the first fraction is 6. The equivalent fraction of 3 sixths is 6 twelfths. For the second fraction, 12 divided by 12 equals 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. The numerator here is 5. Okay, the fractions now are similar. They have the same denominators. Third step is to add. Just add the numerators and copy the LCD. Okay, 6 plus 5 equals 11. And copy the LCD 12. Okay, the answer is 11 twelfths. It is already in lowest term because the numerator and the denominator are consecutive numbers. Therefore, it is the final answer. Second example, 2 thirds plus 3 fifths. These are the similar fractions. So the first step is to get the LCD. The denominators are 3 and 5. 3 and 5 
are prime numbers. So, we can get the LCD easily by multiplying the numbers 3 and 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. The LCD is 15. Let's write the LCD here. LCD is 15. We just multiply the denominators 3 and 5 because they are both prime numbers. Second step, get the equivalent fractions. Okay, let's divide. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 5 times 2 equals 10. Okay, then 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. The numerator of the second fraction is 9. These are the equivalent fractions of these fractions. These are similar fractions. The denominators are the same. Okay, third step is to add. Add the numerators and copy the LCD. Let's add 10 plus 9 equals 19. And copy the LCD 15. The answer is 19 fifteenths. It is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we need to simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. If we divide 19 by 15, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 4. Since there is a remainder, let's write the answer as a mixed number. Okay. The quotient 1 is the whole number. The remainder is the numerator of the fraction. And the divisor 15 is the denominator. Take note, if we change improper fraction to mixed number, the denominator does not change. Okay, the answer is 1 and 4 fifteenths. The fraction 4 fifteenths is in lowest term because the numerator 4 and the denominator 15 do not have other common factor aside from 1. Next, let's add 1 fourth plus 2 sixths. Okay, the denominators are 4 and 6. They are not the same, so we cannot add immediately. We need to get the LCD first. Okay, in this problem, let's use the continuous division to find the LCD. Let's write the denominators 4 and 6. We will divide 4 and 6 by their common prime factor. What prime number can divide both 4 and 6? These are divisible by 2. Okay. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Okay. 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. That means they don't have other common factor aside from 1. So we will stop dividing now. And to get the LCD, we need to multiply the divisor and the quotients. Let's multiply 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. This is now the LCD. Okay, let's use the LCD to find the equivalent fractions. LCD 12 plus the LCD 12. Then find the numerators. Okay, let's divide. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. Third step is to add 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. Okay, let's add the numerators. 3 plus 4 equals 7. And copy the LCD 12. 
The answer is 7 twelfths. It is already in lowest term because the numerator 7 and the denominator 12 do not have other common factor aside from 1. Last example, 3 sevenths plus 2 fourths. Okay, the denominators are 7 and 4. 7 and 4 don't have other common factor aside from 1. So, we can get immediately the LCD by multiplying them. 7 times 4 equals 28. The LCD is 28. Okay, next, let's get the numerators. 28 divided by 7 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. Let's do the same here. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. Okay, the fractions now are similar fractions. The denominators are the same. Okay, third step is to add. Just add the numerators and copy the LCD. 12 plus 14 equals 26. And copy the LCD 28. The answer is 26 over 28. We can still reduce this to lowest term by dividing the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. So let's get the GCF of 26 and 28. Let's use continuous division to find the GCF of 26 and 28. What number can divide both 26 and 28? They are divisible by 2. Okay, 26 divided by 2 equals 13. 28 divided by 2 equals 14. The quotients 13 and 14 are consecutive numbers. That means they don't have other common factor aside from 1. So we will stop dividing now. And the GCF is the divisor. This is the GCF. Okay, let's reduce the fraction to lowest term now. Let's divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF too. 26 divided by 2 equals 13. 28 divided by 2 equals 14. The answer is 13 fourteenths.